What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to connect to NordVPN using Windows 11. Now there are some issues with Windows 11 that don't let it connect to the Nordlynx um, setup that normally works in Windows 10 and 7 and before, so I'm going to show you a temporary workaround that lets you use NordVPN services until they're able to fix the driver issue. That seems like a driver issue, at least from the networking side. Before we get started, I want to give a quick shout out to Todd M and Leslie Media. Thank you for becoming channel supporters. If you want to support this channel, click on that join button below and get access to shout outs and videos like this, live stream archives and emoticons and much more. And you help me make more videos like this, right? <laughs> so basically when I try and connect here, I'll go ahead and just use quick connect. Um, it's going to try and connect to a server and it's going to wait here for a really long time and then it's basically going to tell me that it can't connect unfortunately so I'm not even going to wait for that to happen because you're probably well familiar with it not working if, if you're watching this video so let's get right into how to fix it this seems to be an issue with Nordlynx and uh, UDP versions of the VPN service so if it'll let me cancel this I'll show you how to connect to a working TCP version that'll let us get around that. So let's go ahead and quit the app altogether. Uh, uh, it says it's, let's go ahead and terminate that. So you can see how annoying this process is when it gets caught up like this and doesn't quite work. All right, so it's closed now. So let's open up NordVPN again. Now this time we're going to go into the settings and adjust two options. Well, one option first, then you're going to test. And if you're happy with that, then you're done. Um, if it doesn't quite work, we have one more option to work with. So go into your settings, go to auto connect, and you're going to turn off choose VPN protocol and server automatically. And we do not want Nordlinks and we do not want OpenVPN UDP. We need the TCP version for now because that's the only one that seems to work and then the rest we can leave that as is. Then you can go back and check if that works. Um, it will hopefully work for you. Uh, let's go ahead and try it here, it might not. Um, once we try this, if it doesn't work, then we have one more option that will make it work on pretty much any network, I would assume. Um, but yeah, so that first option already shows that it's working and connected now. But we have one more option to, to try just in case it doesn't work, and that's using an obfus obfuscated server. I can't even say it. So what you want to do is go to advanced, and then you can say obfusca obfuscated servers, open VPN, TCP. Turn that on, and you'll no longer have options of choosing certain servers um, like P2P um, because everything's going to work the same anyway. It's just going to work. But um, yeah, if that first option doesn't work for you, go ahead and use obfuscated. Um, otherwise, if you're happy with using TCP, then that seems to work fine. Uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Peace. What? You've never heard of stream savers? And you thought PewDiePie was the only YouTuber to make a game? I made a game too, and it's called Stream Savers, and it's available for pre-order right now for $9.99. And that's a great price.